All right, everybody, welcome back. And as the title says, this is going to be episode one of a more hard mode. We're going to do a quick stream today. It's not going to be super long. I'm going to go through my strategy on what I'm going to do here. So we'll get started here in just one second. All right. What's up, Brian? Welcome in, man. I need to figure out why the chat box is being insane right now. Sorry, guys, about that. There we go. There we go. I had to fix the chat box there. Hopefully, everything. I'm doing well, man. Thank you for asking. So, sweet guys, let's uh, let's get started. If I notice anything weird here, we'll have to switch some stuff up on OBS. But it's just weird. I open up OBS to start the game, and things kind of look kind of wacky, so. Farhan, welcome in as well. But first off, before we actually get started in coming out of the garage, <clears throat> for those who watch on YouTube, I'm going to give you a quick, I guess, strategy on what I'm thinking going out of the garage here. And here we go. I will actually show you all my screen. And this is it. So essentially, I think y'all can see this. Yes, you can. All right. So as you can see, there's only a couple missions that I really um, need to find outside of these these areas that the watchtowers actually look for. And also this engine here that is actually on Cosmodrone. Let me look at Erska. Sorry about that. OK, so essentially there's three things that I want to do here in Erska River. One is going to be actually four things one is getting this watchtower the second really important thing i want to do after i get that watchtower is I, I want to go get this sideboard semi trailer this is a free trailer i can pick it up um it's essentially what i love to use with my setup so i'm going to go get that asap um now everything else that i'm going to talk about is essentially in support of getting this fuel station back to business and yes, I could go through all this ice with big vehicles and pull vehicles through to get this thing going, all that, etc. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way of actually getting these roadways up and running and then um, these bridges as well to get to bottoms up, which bottoms up is the fuel station. However, to get those things done, I need to do a couple things. I need to take a vehicle that's very good in the snow, get him up here do the mission called Warehouse Trouble. That that Warehouse Trouble mission actually originates here as well. Grab this trailer. I'm going to bring it all the way back to this watchtower where my garage is. And because I can't actually get it up here because this bridge is locked off. And also you can't get up here because it's either just rocks. You could bring a crane and crane this up to the next level. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to simply bring it back down this ice, come up over this berm down back to the ice cross this little ice um, shelf here very easy come alongside here as well and up and complete this warehouse troubles these are going to unlock the metal beams that i'm going to need to get this bridge working and also i believe these bridges working too so i, I need to try to open up this map and then i'll be trying to chip away here at, at these but after i get this warehouse up and running i'm going to try to open up some bridges but then i'm going to go right back to scouting and completely open up this map and then we'll go from there that is essentially what i'm trying to do and that's all really in support of unlocking this fuel station because you absolutely need to secure f fuel so with that being said let's get started here if y'all see anything weird with the uh the stream and the chat box and stu such like that. Let me know because my my OBS is acting acting rather weird. So cool. Let me grab my controller here and we'll get started. <clears throat> Try not to waste any, any time. So my wife went out to dinner with her friends and I was like sitting here. I was like thinking, man, what am I going to do? And I just decided, hey, I, I might as well just stream for just a hot minute here. All right. Something I want to... Um, What's up, Jigsaw? Welcome in 3.30 in the morning for you. Goodness, man. Something I want to tell you guys is I did buy some fuel before I left Wisconsin. 
I completed all of Wisconsin with still an Azo or a Dan and also I think another truck full of fuel. So I still had a lot of fuel left. Um, however, I knew that I'm going to need a lot of fuel to get that, that bridge up and going. So what I did was all the vehicles that you see that have fuel tanks on them, they're full of fuel. So the Warthog is still full. Um, let's see here. The 5600 TS is full as well. The Dan is full. And also this is, I think, close to being full, but it's not completely full yet. So, um, and then also I have the Tega. That's, that's one of my fuel trucks. And everyone's outfitted with chain tires. That's just kind of my thing. Unless I plan on using it in deep snow. So, cool. Now, here's what we're going to do. First off, I am going, going to unlock this tower real quick. The first tower in the game. So here we go. A more hard mode. It's just a quick way that you can get through here. If you're not the Tatron. Of course. Doesn't look good, does it? Okay, we're gonna go get this tower and then um, that's essentially what we're gonna do. What's up, Brian? So another thing I might actually have to do here is go get a... Oh, that's great. That's damage I really needed <laughs> coming right out of the garage, right? Chat window is too large and cropped. Let's see here. Oh, let me, let me, let me fix that. Let's see if that works. Sorry, okay, let's see. There we go. I think that should be good. There, I think that should work. Oh nice, you got White Valley unlocked. Welcome in as well, Home Depot fan. Okay, go get this. I'll do this with the Tatrin, but I also, oh shoot, forgot all about this stuff, man. Forgot all about the, okay, now it's on my radar. I, man, I forgot all about the, uh, the broken ice shards. Okay. I'm trying to think here. Let's go around. We'll go around. You're tweaking the suspension on the crocodile, specifically when you get the fuel add-on. Oh, okay. This looks like a decent spot to run through. Oh, my center, good. Solid. Cool, first tower. I know, right? Okay. So y'all, let's see, Cargo Cult. It's a very odd mission name, right? So I need to go pick that up. So I kind of need to get a scout out here to get up there and pick that up. <clears throat> so let's see. I'm going to do that real quick because that's going to bug me if I don't do that now. Yeah, you know what? My wife went out to eat with her friends, and this is not going to be a long stream. Honestly, this is this is really not. So we'll, we'll use the the Lodi here for a second.
Here's another way you guys can get out of the garage here as well. You can go this way. It doesn't high center to you like that, but yeah, you can get out th this way. Dude, what is going on here? This is ridiculous already. <laughs> Okay, really? This tree just got me all messed up. Last attempt, basically. All right. But yes, you can go this way. Yes, White Valley has a garage. It's, by, it's down at the bottom of the map by the airport. And man, I, I wish I had like a, a cup of coffee or something right now. I'd just sit here and just drink it while. You know, I think mistake number one. I should have actually pulled out the F750 because that's going to be one I, I use quite a bit here. I had a friend who scouted the this whole map actually on one with just the 750 um, without filling up. It legitimately, where's the airport at? It's down at the bottom of the map. You just follow the highway that runs north and south, you'll get there. But yeah, he, um, he essentially scouted this whole map with the 750. Yeah, I have to go slow because this stuff's just going to rip me apart. Yeah, the 750 is so nice, man. Really fuel efficient, too. I got a, I got an idea. I got an idea like going up this way. I know going up this back road is probably the easier route, actually. I kind of want to do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go up the other way. Or I could go up through these trees. You know what? No, I'm going to go around. I'm going around. We're going to try to work a little bit smarter and not harder here, so... Oh, yes, that'd be great. Yeah, I think that is like... So the 750 being able to, to use that the bigger trailers is like... It's kind of a good thing and a bad thing as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really cool that it can... But, like, you really want to use it for, like, pulling the smaller trailers because, especially, like, that prototype exploration unit, scout fuel trailer, all those things, right? But yeah, this is so much easier way to get up here. We're going to leave him here. Yeah, the load starting in the yard do a pretty good job of it. So I'm going to leave this all here for now. And we're going to start our mission um, with going and getting a couple items. So first item we're going to go get. I'm actually going to use the cat. So this is where... This is where you could potentially do something here. And if you guys wanted to buy the Azov Antarctic for this, this would be a really, really, really good um, time to buy this vehicle. I think this in this scenario, it kind of shines 
because we're going to be in some really, really deep mud. Really, really deep snow. Um, I don't want to buy that right now. Because, so, I think the cat will do just fine here. This chat is still a bit cropped on the left. Let me check this out. Oh, yes. Gotcha. Chat. Here we go. I'm actually going to make it chat a little bit smaller. So we can let me just see something real quick. Yep, there we go. I think it should be good. Wait, no, it's not. Still kind of cut off there. Okay, it should be okay. Let me know if it still still is kind of cut off there. But I think we're looking all right. And I'm going to have to look at my alert box too. Because I know things have gotten screwed up with OBS since I fired it up today. <clears throat> Antarctic is... It's not bad with logs. Uh, well, it's kind of weird. I mean, that all depends, I think. It just depends. If you're creating angles with that with that logs, I think it's okay. You just gotta watch out for balance, <clears throat> which is essentially what you're already doing if you're playing the Antarctic. You kind of already know that. So, has anyone seen the new PTS update? Does anyone play the PTS at all, or keep up with any of the updates to the PTS? Found a new strategy to use in mud. Nice, man. Okay, pretty easy work. So this is gonna <clears throat> just saw some content from the PTS. Oh, nice. Oh, he was. Okay, so. The good thing about the cat is even if I fall down in these this ice, I can still navigate through it. Um, another great thing about it is if I get high centered at all, I can shake my head or sh I guess like use the articulated steering and potentially shake myself free. Whenever you're hauling logs and you get stuck, use the log crane and place it in front of your front tires. Once you get let me look at this a second. Once you get that log, you'll be able to gain traction and get unstuck. Okay, hold on a second. Whenever you're hauling long logs and you get stuck, use the logging crane and place, place it in front of your tires. And once you get on that log... Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So essentially, you're, you're basically putting a piece of wood underneath your car or underneath your truck to get your wheels out of the mud. <clears throat> yeah. I know what you're talking about. Okay, uh, that's actually my way up. No, it's not. Right up here is. Yeah, I kind of seen that. I think I caught a little bit of his video on that. I was kind of hoping, to be honest, no offense TC, I was kind of hoping he was going to show some stuff on the PTS instead of um, just driving around and talking. Not to be, not to be critical, I, um, but you found the garage nice. You know what? I need to, up, I need to actually grab this task. So hold on, I need to back up here. So essentially, I have set myself up to have enough fuel to get pretty far but what I want to do is I want to get that that trailer I want to siphon 90% of that trailer that goes to that the task that unlocks the the fuel station and then I want that fuel 
I will actually buy semi tankers, and I'm gonna actually the the fleet actually might expand, to be quite honest. So this is actually the place you dip down. Very easy here. Um, it's such a better option than going straight, as you can see. That's all down sloping. Um, but if you want to know more about these maps, um, I did a, a whole video series on this on uh, more maps. And then yeah, it's pretty simple. Just drive around this ice here. That's stuff that breaks, essentially. But when I first got into this map, I was kind of behind, to be quite honest, because whenever I finished Phase 2, right before Phase 3 came out, my file was deleted, okay? So that was around the time I started making videos, which was right after Phase 2, whenever I lost my file. So I lost my file, and then I restarted the game. And that's when I started actually making SnowRunner videos. And, you know, Phase 3 came out. I was starting in Michigan at the time that Phase 3 came out. So I had to catch up and get, you know, Michigan and Alaska team here. And I played them all in order. Um, contrary to what I did on my previous playthrough, which I've talked about in detail. If anybody wants to know, I can, I can break that down too. But, yeah, so I got to it more pretty late. Um, you know, I had to finish Wisconsin when a more came out because I was just trying my hardest to get done. And, you know, a more, I think a more was out for maybe three, two or three weeks. Actually, maybe a week or two. And when I first went live to go jump on a more. You know, I had people on my YouTube live, which is still there. It's, it's on my channel, the YouTube live series. And they were like, hey, man, you should do this because it's going to make your life easier. So that's where this whole trick derives from. Okay, so this trailer... This bridge is, I don't want to say it's broken, it's not broken, but the only issue is this place I think can be kind of deep. However, I do see logs. I believe I went through here with the Antarctic and it was fine, so we're going to just venture this. I can always back up if I can get pl plunged down. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good to go. But the last time I went here, I actually crawled over this mound and went direct, almost direct to. I'm actually going to go through and go around these trees. You try to do the same chronologically? Yeah. I think it's... Ever since... That was like a blessing, man. My game getting deleted and actually... Thinking about using the vehicles that are given to me that I can have and I can get just such a better experience for me, honestly. The Royal, it, it's it's enticing, isn't it? It's kind of like you, you want to go get it. It's the Royal's good. Uh, see, I can get over this stuff. Yeah, see, the cat is really good with like being able to maneuver over stuff like that. Such a good vehicle, man. So, we'll pick up this mission. And we will deliver it to the warehouse. Um, I'm essentially going to go kind of the back the way I came. Without tipping the trailer over. I mean, we'll see. I probably will, to be honest. No promises, gentlemen. So, you've been following the PTS some time. You got really annoyed. When you played in the official version of the game, I kept seeing the bugs reported that were unfixed. Yeah, that's kind of sad. That is kind of sad. All right. Yeah, the only thing, Brian, is I'm not, I'm not doing any trailer packs on this. I don't want to. I don't want to do that because I don't want anybody to lay a claim saying that I did not do a legitimate hard mode. Because to me, I don't think using a trailer pack is is cheating. 
all I'm doing is allowing myself to carry to carry cargo. I mean, I see logging vehicles out there all the time in real life with a low saddle and they're saddled up like it's, a, it's a, literally a trailer. So um, that would be great. And also it would be great to carry six slots of cargo on a uh, six slot bed. But there's always going to be a select few who, who will say I did not complete this legitimately. So in prevention of that, yeah, I see them all the time, man, honestly. Also, when you're crossing water, just look down. If you can see the bottom, you, you pretty much should be good. But yeah, this is going to unlock that warehouse to give us metal beams, which we need. I absolutely will not. You will not see me crafting here. I will not craft. You will not see me go up to um, the crafting zone up in the top of Erska River. I think... Uh, I think there is something I've done up there on my last playthrough, but I avoided crafting like the plague in a moor. So it's going to be a lot of shuttle shuttle runs with uh, metal beams because that's going to be a huge cargo um, cargo pool, I guess, in Cosmo Drone. Oh yeah, the photo mode drone is is pretty good to do too. That is a really good uh, trick, by the way. For anyone who do doesn't know, just go into photo mode and uh, yeah, just go fly above your vehicle, go out as far as you can or, or any way you can and just look down. That is a really good tip, Jigsaw. Thank you for sharing that. But yeah, basically just come back the way we came. Oh wow, that's cool. I saw, I saw the crazy thing is I saw a logging crane in the front of a of a vehicle that was carrying a low saddle trailer with logs on it, and it was actually on I think 71, either south or north here in Ohio. And I wanted to take a picture of it, but I was driving, <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't about to whip out my phone and be like, "Hey guys, I want to show you something." I'm not gonna lie. I think the cat did a much better job back there than than the um, the Antarctic did. There was a if you go back and watch my footage, which I could actually do sometime, is go back and like look at it. But the Antarctic, there was a couple of times I thought I was gonna tip over, and this vehicle just maneuvers over these rocks so much better. I, I feel. Oh no! Well, that was a lag spike. Yeah, man, that'd be awesome. Yo, Mattias, welcome in as well. Yo, Divine Just, welcome in. I'm doing well, man. We're starting uh, hard mode here in a more trying to uh trying to get some some things in place and I talked about getting some things in order so that I could have a good fuel source other than the fuel that I brought over from Wisconsin so so what about that about the last PTS update jigsaw I did put out a video on the last PTS update um but it was just concerning the dairy because that is something I think I'm paying more attention to than... Um, so, okay, now I'm going to kind of show you the, guys this. This is the bridge that's going to be needed to be fixed. One of them, this trailer needs to go here to open up this other warehouse to get those metal beams. However, you can't... This is um, impassable. Here is impassable, and then you have this bridge here that's impassable, either, right? It's all surrounded. 
I mean, I don't know. You pro There's a way you probably someone has gotten through here and done some crazy stuff to get up into here. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bring this back down over across and then up. So you guys will see me do that here. But we're losing daylight. Let's get going. There's a logging mill a couple of miles down your road. You usually see logging trucks going by your house in the morning. Nice. But yeah, actually, on the on my first playthrough of, of a more, I actually almost tipped the the Antarctic. I think trying to getting up this this hill, these rocks. So. I definitely think the cat is a better option here. Just does it, man. This thing is doing so well right now. That's why I love it, man. I love the cat because, like, it's one of those vehicles. We don't have many North American vehicles that say, I don't care about the terrain you put in front of me. I'm just going to go through it. The cat is essentially one of those vehicles, except for, as you guys know, cats don't like water, so. Biggest downfall right there. So we're not going to stream a terrible long time tonight. This is going to be a pretty short stream because my wife is going to come back and I am going to spend some time with her, but I wanted to at least start this. No, there's not another PTS update. There's not another one. I think they do those, I think, every... Uh, breaking breaking ice. They do those every, um, every now and then, basically. I'm not sure if it's like every... Every other week, probably. But, yeah. So, my mistake here, I should have kept to my left. This is also a good little thing to do with the cat. Just shake your shake your head out there. You just kinda like break everything that's like in front of you and then you just crawl keep crawling forward until you hit something solid. And then you'll just climb out of it. The Antarctic can do this too. I don't know. Doesn't help that I'm doing this. Let me see if I can just get out of here. There you go. I think it's because I'm pulling something. It's like... Actually, I think I'm pretty sure the Zix can do it. The Zix, I know, I know for a fact the Zix can do it. I crossed that frozen river before. Oh man, what a bad mistake on my part there. Okay, we should get out here, though. These little ice shards, these are definitely solid, so we'll, we'll grab these and get up there. There we go. There you go, okay. I need to pay attention to where I'm going a little bit better. And 
happened. Then there's this crossing here. Don't fall in. Fall in. Bad news. Yeah, we really do. You know, I man, my hopes was it was it was going to be the the dairy special. That was kind of my hopes. I was thinking the dairy special was going to be an alternative to the Zix. <clears throat> I just really feel like the dairy special is not going to be. I think even if they fix the the weight characteristics so it's not tippy and it's a stable truck the zix still has tires that are a 1.0 i think with i have to actually go back and look at the files but that gives it a big advantage and also always on differential locking it just crush it it just crushes it the dairy is going to have a switchable it's going to be forced to downshift for like really good performance kind of like the cat here Okay, so this is going to unlock this right here. Okay, so the good thing is this vehicle has still a good bit of fuel in it. I wouldn't say it's too much. So that's it. Even the cargo looks intact. I owe you one. And you know, having a warehouse keeper in your debt's a good thing, right? Okay, cool. So as you guys know, both of these have a good bit of cargo in them and so I don't have a full fuel carrier here but it's still going to be not enough for doing operations here so you fix that bridge by the gas station yeah that's a good bridge to fix you definitely need that to uh to get through all right I'm going to leave the lodestar where he's at I'll bring him back in a minute I'm actually going to We are going to go get this low saddle, okay? I don't know. I'm probably not going to use the cat here. I might just pull out the Azov, man. I honestly... I think so. There, There is going to be some purchases here, I think. Um, I think one purchase here is going to be this vehicle. Essentially... Because I want to make him one of my fuel carriers in the low saddle form. He's super strong, big tires, really good off-road prowess, and yeah. Fuel efficiency for that, does I'm not really concerned with that. He's going to be a tanker, so I'm not concerned about his fuel efficiency. He'll have a ton of gas on him. I mean, you could say the same thing about this vehicle here. Where's it at? You could say the same thing here. I'm just using it as a tanker. It's not going to be a vehicle I'm going to be moving cargo with. So. Another vehicle I want to purchase, I believe. Um, Goodness, man. A collab will be a good one. I don't think I will, though. The bandit could be a, a good one. But I'm actually thinking about a Voron, to be quite honest. And I almost want to say the Voron grad is going to be, it could be a purchase. That new step truck, pretty okay. Th which one? The 3-9, the 3-3-1 Crocodile? Which one? Or the 3-9, the 3 Pike, sorry. Let's see where it's at. Is it here? The one that's coming, that's a Zix. That's going to be a Zix. Um, that one looks really good. It looks really good. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be as good as the the crocodile or not. It's looking it's looking rather good, honestly. 
it's gonna have to be tested out. I think it can use a, a one slot bed and a crane, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, we might, you know what? And another thing I might buy is an ANK. It'd be nice to have a civilian, actually. Crocodile is a beast for its size. That's a really good, this is a really good, this actually could be a, a good buy here. Um, let me actually, do I even have a crocodile? I thought I bought one. No, I don't have one. But actually, if you look at the crocodile, this is, this is crazy because the crocodile is only 16,000. Okay. For how good this vehicle is, this is a steal, especially on hard mode. But anyways, let's get back here. Let's, let's do this. I'm just going to bust out my uh, old faithful here. I'm going to go get this uh, sideboard bed. I'm like you looking for trucks to buy in SnowRunner? Yeah. I'm just trying to think. I'm really trying to think about what vehicles I can use. Essentially, I know what vehicles I want to I want to pull cargo with. Um, I want, I'm probably going to pull a lot of cargo with the Azov. This one, probably the 73210, just because it's so dang powerful. And it's going to get an a race suspension here or an active suspension but i also like what's really important is i need to have trucks that can get to austere locations with big tankers so i need strong i need strong vehicles i have to i have to get those set in place so that's also stuff i'm looking at i might try to get the cat the ct681 involved here too that's going to be something i try to do but for now, I just want to try to get, get this these bridges opened up quickly. You're convinced that the 605R was a band-aid for the devs. They slapped on an overcorrect a more difficulty. Yeah, I think so too. I think it was like they, they kind of were like, ah, the game this is pretty hard, so here you go. But I don't think they would have made it more as hard if um if people didn't complain. Hey, what's up, District? Welcome in, man. Yes, the legend himself, District. Man, I'm, I'm excited for you to start that randomizer, man. Okay, I'm going to take this slow here. But if anybody's new to the channel and you do not know District B13, please go to his channel and subscribe to him. You will want to see what he's up to when he is streaming. Okay, this, this is a tough situation for any truck, honestly. Safety. Pull. That boulder wants to tip you. It's like they put that there just for that reason. Oh, you went to yesterday, but you ran into some stream issues. Oh, nice. Dang, that sucks, man. All right, watch this. I'm, this is going to try to tip me over this this little spot right here. Watch. Coming up. It's going to, like, throw my truck to the right side. So this is this is what they, I call, like, those little gotcha points. So, like, when you look at this, you don't think you're going to fall over. But then it's just, like, boom. Your front end goes down inside these. 
and then there's another like like that. There's other points over on the other side of the map too that, that they're like that. Yeah, man. Anytime. Uh, I don't know if it was too light of terrain. It's it's right here actually. I'd have to like bring up my map, but it's it's over here. Whenever you cross these two bridges, it's like right when you turn the corner to go up onto like up this way. Um, I explained it a little bit on my um, on my route runner series actually. Yeah, so let's go down here and tip this over, and then uh, it'd be nice to have some good reverse lights, right? this crane. New trailer. No, not yet. Okay. You know, actually, you know, the kind of thing is, I, I do like the music here. It's kind of like really, really chill, I guess. Okay, now we need to get a little push forward. drive your truck up a mountain and get a watchtower yeah those are those are pretty cool up there there's a lot of those little like switchback areas up there in uh in alaska it's kind of cool what guide what do you mean a guide when you find the upgrades oh so essentially, District, you just, um, let me actually make, I'll display my screen here. Let's see if I can see this. Okay, cool. So essentially, what I think what you do is, um, you just basically make a source, and I believe you make a text. So, and you made this text, you put this on the screen, and then you can actually type in here, and then put this on the window, wherever you want. You can, I'm not sure if you use, um, Streamlabs. Or if you use OBS, I think you, I think it's probably going to be safer on OBS, to be quite honest. But yeah, that will work out really good for you. Um, the crazy thing, District, is someone actually went through my files, um, the cheat file, and they updated all my locations of my uh, of the upgrades. But what I think, the thing is. I think you should put that on screen for like the first couple maps. And then what I think you should do is just make it a command. So like for instance, like, I don't know, like exclamation mark um, upgrades. Do you know what I'm saying? Speaking of, one second, my wife is fixing me. Okay. Um, what I did was I sent him the the cheat file. So I sent him the cheat file while I was streaming, and then he just set it up. So like, here's the thing: I can show you this. Check this out. I will show this. Let me show you this real quick, and then we'll get back to this. It is called. So. Display capture this right here so essentially these are all the upgrades collected so yeah everyone I've collected from every map that I've been on so far and this look this is a lot of upgrades man so I'm saying like what I think you should do is maybe on like the first two maps you have these on your screen and just update these 
But like when you get to like Island Lake and Drummond, this this is gonna be too big. It's gonna take up way too much space on your screen. You know what I'm saying? And even if you make it really small, it's gonna be hard for people to see. And that's why I just suggest making a, a, a command. I think I think it's gonna be the best thing to do. Yeah, very similar. Yep. Okay. All right, back we go. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Man, I love this vehicle. Oh my gosh, I love this vehicle. There's another one of those pitfalls. I did not think that was going to do that on this, this little route, but... That's the bad thing about this vehicle is... Its clearance is not that good. I think something I'm going to try to like actively remind myself here... Is I am in no rush. I think that's something I get going to do is I try to like be super efficient, try to get places really quick or as quick as I can. I'm, I don't use, right, I'm, I'm using off-road gearboxes, so yeah, I, exactly, exactly Lex, yeah, you just have to slow down, not try not to make mistakes. This is where like this map is like they want you to try to get frustrated to move faster when you can. And then you make crucial mistakes. Oh, by the way, everyone, if you haven't seen my Route Runner series, this right here, this area, do not go down here. <laughs> Don't even use this. Don't even use that. Oh, I need to fix that box. My goodness, that looks terrible. Thank you, Lex, for that uh, for that follow. I appreciate it. Let me actually fix that alert box. That looks terrible. Let me just test this real quick. Oh my, what is that? That looks so bad. That looks so bad. One second, y'all. This is, uh, this is the stuff you have to deal with whenever. Oh my goodness, man. Hit the screen. Cool. Okay, alert box. Let's go. Let's do this for a second. Now, I want to try this out real quick. All right, I don't know what is going on with that. I have no clue what's going on with that. But that is not good. All right, Home Depot, see you later, man. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. Hold on, I'll fix this. I'm fixing it right now. I see what's going on. Okay, there we go. Try it now. Here we go. Let me just actually fix this right quick, though. Center it out. Sorry, y'all. OBS is just acting insane. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing, man. It just like... 
I turned it on, I turned the stream on, and I noticed like things were just out of whack, and I was like, oh shoot. So sorry about that, Lex, on the on the notification that coming up on the screen. Having technical difficulties. Answer this text message my wife sent me. She asked me what I ate, and I was like, Chipotle. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I, guys, I gotta share. There's this email. Um, I want to show you guys really bad. So Chipotle sent me an email, okay? So, like, some of you guys know, like, I traveled... On my previous job, um, before I got laid off, we I traveled 315 days of the last year, okay? And the crazy thing is, you know, I was getting my, my food paid for. Like my, my I wasn't getting per diem, which I, I kind of wish I was, to be honest, that'd been great. But they were paying for my food, and I kid you not, I ate Chipotle 123 times in 2022 and Chipotle sent me an email talking about how I was in the top 0.5 percentage of Chipotle um, users or Chipotle customers and and they like broke everything down like the stats and everything it was hilarious like I was dying. I know man that's what I was thinking I was like man. What if they, <laughs> if anybody knows any sponsors from Chipotle, please, I would love to be sponsored by Chipotle, even though that probably would never happen. Yeah, I need to be careful here, because uh, I do not want to fall down into the ice with this thing, because it's like game, set, match, actually. I can cross right here and get over. So and they even said on the email like I was a founding member. I'm not this is I'm not kidding. I, I'm I'm really not kidding. I almost wanna I really do wanna like pull this up, but I feel like I've been wasting a lot of time with other things here. <laughs> but I, I don't know. If you guys wanna see it, I can show you. It's it's hilarious. Okay, so exactly the way that we came before because we don't have any bridges. Um, we go this way. Now, you guys remember when I was talking about when I was driving by here with the trailer coming down this hill, I said do not go this passage. Don't, please don't. You're gonna, you're gonna be. This is like, this is the trap they want to get you in. Like. This is what Saber does. Like, they put these, like, this is, like, extreme mud in here. And to get through here, like, I strategically, like, winch myself along these trees to get through here. And after that, I never did it again. The easiest way is li literally going out of your garage, making this left-hand turn, going oh, this way, this way, this way, and then over this rock. These rocks almost converge and touch. Let's go right over those and then come up through here. Easiest way to get onto these roads. Seriously, do not do not go the other way. Okay, nice morning. Another thing I have to watch out is getting high centered with this vehicle. This thing does not like rocks. However, the Bandit is a really good 8x8 for taking rocks. So, if any of y'all like the Bandit, this is good, it's a pretty good place to use it. If you have the balloon tires, so the only downside is you won't grip on uh, icy surfaces, but.
All right, so what I'll do is I'll put on this bridge to the warehouse. So it's going to be spare parts, metal beams. But I also want to look at something here. Do balloon tires exist in real life? They do. They actually do. I believe I believe someone said they're actually an American tire. To be quite honest. All right, so I think you guys can see this screen. I'm not kind of like keep y'all I'll try to keep y'all in the loop with what I'm looking at here so like I said this is the the station I want to do bottoms up ASAP but to do bottoms up I need to fix these these bridges because I, I can't get across here I could I could pull myself through with my cat and do this I could do that but I would still have to find a way to get these open because this is a faster way than going through here um you just have to but let's see, I want to see something. Two beams, two spare parts. Planks. Two beams, two spare parts. Okay. Alright, those are gonna be uh what's it called? My focus. The bandit's stable when you get rid of his crane. Yeah, I mean, cranes kind of do that. They kind of just make everything a little bit more unstable. You know what? I'm actually going to stop and get, get a little quick sip. And craning time. So we have... Ooh, we have wooden planks here. I can actually do some... Okay, hold on, I want to see. I want to see what they got in here. Middle beams, consumables, planks. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm not paying for that junk. That's true. That's true. Um, personally, I always use the crane on the bandit. I just deal with it. But I definitely understand those people who do really want to kind of like min max. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can understand. I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I was a person who never used a crane. Like, I would not put a crane on my vehicles in my first playthrough. I avoided them like the plague. I avoided doing anything with a crane like the plague. Um... I'm still not. Yeah, I'm still not. Service. I think it's a service spare parts. Yeah, I'm. 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 I'm pinching pennies, man. I'm pinching pennies because I'm. I'm gonna make some moves and buy some vehicles pretty soon. The the fleet needs updated. Or I need... I'm at the point where... To me, a more is gloves off. Like, there's there's no... I have no shame in using some of the S-tier trucks. No shame at all. So. Okay. So, let's go. The bandit's pretty good, actually. Like it's and the thing is it's it's relatively a long crane too. It's definitely better than the RU crane. Okay, I'm gonna take it easy out here because these things love to just bust your tire. This is like a more is like oh shoot. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I didn't I took my I didn't mean to do that. 
think you'll start auto loading after 200k. Yeah, I, I know. I'm, I'm guys. I'm going super slow right now. I just do not want to like bust my tire. Oh, I don't have a, another tire. That sucks. The only thing is Jigsaw, think about every piece of cargo that you have to load. Okay, if you if you went through and looked at every piece of cargo that you have to load in the game, and then times that by 150, it's gonna be a lot of money. It's gonna be a lot. I guarantee it's a couple trucks. Oh they do, man. Those concrete slabs are terrible. I learned that on the first playthrough of this map, man. I was like, goodness. Okay, there we go. We have a, uh, there's that bridge. So now we're not cut off from this, from this side of the map. That's better. We'll get supplies for the region in a jiffy now. We have a good connection with the warehouse. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, those those slabs really suck. Okay, back to get more metal beams. I'm going to check something actually at this sawmill over here. I might be able to to do this little sawmill mission and I might be able to actually do this other bridge mission over here too the link for my YouTube doesn't really work really on the site it doesn't really you serious we can fix that right now let's see Channel. Go to this. Do settings. I'm trying to think where this is at. Oh, I'm going to check it out right now. It works. So if you go, if you look at my channel and you, the link where it says about, if you look over, if you scroll right below this video, I'll actually kind of show you here. Hold on a second. It's going to look really weird, but on, on, on screen. So just give me a sec. Okay. Yo, thank you for that subscription. That's on YouTube. Okay, so check this out. Okay, so if you go about, click on this this right here, takes you right to it. You mean the banner? Oh, I see it doesn't. Copy that. I will switch that up. Let me actually work on that. I just need to... One second. I'm going to look at that real quick. I'm going to try to update that. Man. Things are just off here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> channel edit panels oh that's why 
That is why. Hold on a second. Copy that. Cool. Good to go. All fixed. Sorry about the delay, everyone. Man. Crazy stuff. Alright, let's go. Okay, so that, that link should work. Actual. The actual panel should work. Alright, let me look at this mission here. Same thing, metal beams, one cargo container. Okay, copy that. I want to see if there's a cargo container here as well. There is. Okay, you know what? We're going to do this. Wait, district. Question. Do I have to pick up... Is that cargo container for the um, sawmill? Is that something I need to actually recover from the, from the swamp? I think so. I think so, for some reason. Wait. I need to, like, get myself oriented here. I thought it was. Actually, you know what? Hold up. No, you know what? Our priority is something else. Yeah, we're going to go unlock these. But first, I need to actually do this landslide here. Because here's something I do not want to do. I do not want to have to bring cargo all the way through here. I'd rather just go through the highway. No, just get it here? Okay. I need to check to make sure there's enough metal beams in here. Planks. These unlimited metal rolls. Okay, so I have... I think I have eight. Eight metal beams. Two. Probably four, six. And I believe this landslide on the highway might take some. Landslide on the highway is going to take wood and service spare parts. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Wood and service spare parts. Okay, copy that. Wood and service spare parts. I'll do, what I'll do is, I'll unlock that, take a little bit of cargo over for that one bridge, I'll come back, I'll do this bridge back here, the sawmill back here, and then I'll just continue. So I need two of these, I need one service spare part, but then I'm going to need um, metal beams and service spare parts for the next two bridges too as well, so. Usually it allows me to pack this even if it's hanging. It's kind of weird. Okay. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll take. I'm gonna take two metal beams. One's gonna go into the cargo bed, one's gonna go on top. And that will be for the bridge after that blockage. I think what that will allow me to do is... Okay, sweet. Ooh, 
Oof. I do have a feeling it's going to be more than two trips, though. I might be overstacking quite a bit here on my next trip. We'll see. Busting my tire. I do not have a spare. Yep. Gosh. That's insane, man. Insane. Like, calm the model down. It does not need to bust your tire. I'm just going in low. Not to be a complainer, but come on. This is an off road truck in an off-road class. I could see if this was like a highway truck or something. Like, should, shouldn't have uh, taken so much damage, right? I think that did tire, I think it did tire damage too. I don't know yet. I'm actually going to do this, this blockage over here too sometime. It's faithful to how the roads are in Russia. <laughs> You're probably right. And here comes the, the next round of... Uh... However... We're just going to skirt to the side. There we go. Okay, on the road. Or whatever this is. It's like, what happened to these roads? Did they get, like, bombed or something? Like, it looks like bombs hit these roads. I think that's a watchtower right there. But yeah, this is not a, a good shortcut either. That is not a shortcut. That path right there... It, it literally will take you just as long to get through there as just going around. I've taken it many times. Do not want to do it again. Very poor quality. Very poor quality. That's for sure. Man, this does bring back some memories, though. Pulling the uh, the old rocket trailer in here, getting that thing all set up, and it comes right out of there. I think this is where you pull it to, and then you, that's where you get it, and then you take it to 
Cosmo. What a crazy mission. I bet some people were probably like, man, this thing is so low. Yeah, it is very slow. But it gives me time to think, you know what I'm saying? This thing is the king of the tortoises right now. I'm not, I'm not blowing out my tire. Not happening. Not happening. I think the Azov with 10 wheels goes faster, actually. I'm pretty sure this is one of the slowest... Oh, shoot. Do I have an... Okay, cool. I can get this one here. That's true. I agree, too, Lex. Slow and steady wins the race, man. Slow and steady. Oops. Oops. What up? Come on. Wooden planks. Wooden planks. Thanks to you, I don't have to worry about supplies. Cool. I'm getting some good money here, too, as well. go this way then. You know, the crazy thing is, is I don't know. Gosh, that route is death. Oh, that route is so death. Crazy thing is, I don't know who uses a high range gearbox still on this map. Um, what is, uh, what is that? You post on what is the DTF? Discord you do on the Tega? Ah, I see. Taking it real nice through here. So hold on a second. You gotta explain what this is, because it's it's actually Streamlabs is flagging you right now when you're saying that. The media news aggregator. Oh, I know you do, district. I know you do. That's like the uh, that's a gearbox default for you. When, when you start the game district, they should just have that gearbox automatically installed. Man, good good experience here, even though I don't need it, and good money right now. Okay, so this is... There's two bridges here back to back. Basically, I need to do service spare parts, bring two more metal beams, so I need four service spare parts, two metal beams. Okay. It's a news aggregator. Yeah, I, I don't even know. It's a sub channel. It does, I don't know. That doesn't even sound the pro. What is? I don't even understand. It, is it on their Discord? Is that what you're talking about? I don't know, when I see that, uh, that acronym, I don't know, I'm already kind of sketched.
Okay, so now that I know I'm gonna have enough metal beams to do this stuff, I'm going to probably do a couple little little missions back there by the cat 745C just to finish those areas out. I'm going to scoot my chair in a little bit here so I can just kind of like chill for a second. Okay, so what would you guys rather see? Would you rather see hard mode on Amor on the channel or would you rather see uh, more of the upgrade randomizer? You like hard mode jigsaw? Nice, okay. Brian says hard mode too. Barhand says hard. I have three hard modes. The other one is good too. Randomizer. Uh, yeah, nice district. I'm glad you like that. Well, district, you've seen hard mode through and through, so this is not this is not interesting for you at all, which I totally understand. Hard mode is easy mode for you, for sure. It's it's not bad. It, it really isn't. It's not bad. I do need to expand my fleet, though. I think what I'll do is I'm going to play both of them. Um, I do think the randomizer is such a bigger challenge. It is. It's actually like forcing like a physical challenge with the terrain. Like your battle is with the terrain, not the economics of the game, I guess, and logistics, which I think appeals to me more. Um, but also, I am in a more, and this is, you know, it's one of the harder maps in the game. More difficult, slow going. But still, I think, I think the randomizer is definitely a harder playthrough. Because it's essentially saying here, this item might not be useful for you, but make do with it however you want to make do with it. Oh, it's like a cherry on top because I'm playing a more. Oh, okay. So do people like seeing a more then? Is that kind of like the thing? Is that like the map people like seeing the most because it's it's notably difficult? Oh, for sure. I absolutely consider it the hardest. It is the hardest. I want to do this mission over here too. That blockage. I want to get that out of the way. I might do that too, to be quite honest. Even though I really don't take that route much, I, I think uh, I think it'd be good. But yeah, after I do all this, like opening up these bridges and stuff like that, and, and get the, getting this this fuel situation kind of like solved, um, that's when I'm essentially gonna start scouting. And it probably is gonna be a mixture of the 750 and. The Tatrin, of course. Or the Tatrin is going to be like a backup, I think. Probably primarily 750, I think. Alright, Farhan. Thanks for stopping in, man. Okay. You know what we're going to do? Bridge the sawmill. Mm, let's go here.
play a more the longest. Make it as hard as possible. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. You know what's going to be hard actually is... I think the randomizer more is going to be hard. You know what I actually would be... I wouldn't mind seeing actually is... The randomizer doing the first three maps and then coming to a more. So essentially, if you don't have good upgrades, like it's going to be kind of rough. And for me, most of my vehicles are stuck with either just rear, rear chains or all terrains. Most of them. Some can get um, the actual OHDs. But I think that makes it kind of interesting. I mean, maybe I could do that, honestly. Maybe I could just do that. After the... Maybe after the, the base map, I'll just come to a more on the randomizer. Because to be honest, after the first three maps, you're not necessarily getting a ton of upgrades. In the game. If I do, don't quit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a it is a, that's a dedication of some hours. Like doing a more regular, or even just on hard mode, takes a ton of time. I mean, how long do you think you spent on a more district? Not blow up our tire again. I got a feeling they're gonna want to blow up my tire, so we're gonna do a little creep here. Oh, they really want to bust my stuff up. So you never finished it with the, the highway trucks you had? I thought you finished it on like a regular hard mode, though. Yeah, the Zix will help Jigsaw, that is right. However, here's the thing. Will the Zix have an engine? A Zix without a big engine is is not going to be as effective or the gearbox. The gearbox, not so much because you're not really going that fast. But also, I don't have to use the Zix. I wasn't really planning on using a lot of Russian trucks, to be quite honest, so I could still keep that and just do like an NA truck only. Oh, I can't spin it that way. Really? It was less than a week? Goodness, District. Wow. That's wild, man. Yo, what's up, Land of Land of Hobo? Welcome in. Yes, we are on hard mode of more. And we have another bridge. Oh, you planned out everything? That That's what makes sense right there, is planning. That's what this is going to be. 15 fuel semis? Yeah, that's probably what's going to be here, too. Well, actually, great. Let me shut this down. Great, here's a little something for your trouble, and it's a lot easier to get to the sawmill now. Oh, you don't say. Yep, the APC is a monster here. The, the APC is a monster everywhere. Eight slot trailer is your best friend? Goodness, dude.
Yo, Jablonker, welcome in as well. 5 a.m. Jigsaw, goodness, man. Well, thank you for staying up for uh, from 3 to 5. Appreciate it, man. Get some rest. Oh, I know how you play this, man. I, I, I shouldn't have... Uh, I should have just expected that. I think I was in your stream when you were using the 8 slot, too. We're gonna we're gonna bypass these little exploding tire whatever these are concrete slabs or I can just bottom myself out. <laughs> oh man. The 8 slot is a challenge, but if you can make it work, man, it's like a badge of honor. It really is. Okay, so we have to get this cargo container for the sawmill up here. Um, but first, I'm going to do myself a little refuel here. So sawmill, then back to building those bridges. You know what? Oh no, I can't go that way. This thing cannot turn. Picnic tables out there. Somebody's about to be real cold. Yeah, but for anybody who is going to be watching this replay on YouTube, let me guys let me know um, what playthrough you guys like the better, or what playthrough you like better, the hard mode in a more here or the randomizer challenge. I definitely will be continuing them both, but I think it's just good for me to know. I really feel like there's a lot of people that like the randomizer. I think I was pretty surprised where uh, I was surprised when District said he wanted to, to try the randomizer. That's what that's when you know it's really interesting when someone who has literally played hard mode in almost every kind of fashion you could think of said that they want to do that. So you like all my playthroughs to be honest? Nice man. But the randomizer is a breath of fresh air? It is. I, I think it is honestly. Alright, so this is going to be death. And we're just going to go like this. This is like that death mud junk in here. Crap. So... Thought. I really thought I was going to tip it there. There we go. I, I think so too. I do really do think the brand, the randomizer, it definitely, I'm going to say this. Um, I was getting really, really tired of SnowRunner. Um, after phase eight, I got burned out pretty bad. And um, for any people who've been around since like a hundred subs knows that I was talking about a, a, a randomizer um, a long time ago. I was saying, like, I wish the, dev the devs wanted to do, like, a randomizer challenge where they would randomize the upgrades for us. And, yeah. Just awesome that there's actually a modder that, that does that. 
so. Yep, yeah, not going through that stuff, man. I, I did that last time. No bueno. Work smarter, not harder. Just take my time. This is the only... This is the only thing, though. The Azov struggles in, like, super thick areas. Just sinks in, man. Actually, hold up. I can grab something else here. Try this. This is where the other Azov would shine right now. It really would. The 5319 with its bigger tires would do a lot better job here. Okay, there we go. A little bit better. But yeah, District, I am definitely... I'm gonna try to be available when you start that that hard mode or that um, randomizer. Oh man, I wanna be there for it so bad. If I'm not, I definitely will will catch up and try to be in your streams at least some of the time. Have to be. Oh, you're making me go all the way down here. Wait, are you? Yes, you are. A co-op randomizer? Dude. You know, if they if they actually made... What is going on? Well, I need to actually put it on. Nice. Well, that was impressive. Thanks to you, we won't... Uh, you don't have to wait, I don't know, how long to get the new tools. And yes, if you need wood, just let us know. Yes, sir. Man, if they if they made actual servers, like, let's say we started a randomizer. Of course, I gotta do medium logs, of course. Um, well, the thing is... It's... I think it... It essentially is, so it would take the place of, of District's file. That's a good question. You know, I need to ask Naked Dave that, actually. He might have a better answer for that. But I think if they made actual dedicated servers where, like, my game saves and his game saves on one server that would be a legit playthrough i don't i think that we would still crush it though i don't think we'd have an issue because now you give me the chance to uh have somebody to help pull me out whenever i get stuck that's so much easier. We would just crush maps, honestly. I mean, I, I definitely think it was it's super difficult. And gosh, like everyone knows from like episode like one through I don't know, thirteen or something like that, like not having any upgrades having crappy tires, no vehicle with all-wheel drive except for my scout. That stuff was tough. The map crusher? <laughs> yeah, right. The randomizer map crusher challenge.
Y'all see why I hate this area? Yo, thank you, Harassinator, for that prime sub. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you again, man, for that updated uh, list on the upgrades. Appreciate that. We will definitely be using that. Yeah, it works. I had to mess around with it. It was all messed up earlier. OBS, man. OBS is just killing me sometimes. I'm still moving. I'm just crawling, dude. See, this is what I'm talking about when I talk about vehicles that have really good um, consumption. Like in parts like like this, when you're stuck, like look at its fuel consumption. I'm at 2.9, 3.0, not bad at all. Thing is, if you have a vehicle that's really thirsty, like you're gonna burn up all your fuel being stuck going so slow. Like I don't really have to worry about the Azov like running out of gas. So it's super strategic to have, I guess. I don't know. That is another reason I wish they would actually give better fuel tank values to these vehicles. It's kind of kind of ridiculous. Okay, here's that blue crap. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. No, we won't do this. Let's go like this, actually. There we go, that's better. So for anyone stopping in, uh, this is the first episode of um, my hard mode journey. The goal is to essentially get as fast as possible over to the fuel station, open it up, get it activated, up and running. So then I have basically fuel for this region. Because in Erska River, fuel is the cheapest, which is pretty much where you're going to have to drive most of your fuel from. So I want to get that up and running. I believe I only have like four vehicles that have fuel tankers in my garage, and one of them is out right now. Or one of them is helping me currently right now, so. Okay, we're out of here. All right. You know, I'm really, I'm really tempted to do right now is do this cargo cult ask. I'm really tempted to just do this. But I think I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait to get... I'll get a different vehicle. I don't want to... I can't... I don't want to try to take this... Oh my... There goes my tire. There it is. <laughs> my goodness. We knew it was going to happen sometime or later. Yes, it is what you think it is. It is what you think it is. Man, that thing just cracked my suspension. Oh. The thing is, there's not a lot of free trailers around here. Like, there's one on this map. Yeah, I need to get a... I need to get a repair trailer out. Yeah, I need to get a repair trailer out. I need to have something to repair myself. You always mix it up with a mooring cola? Nice. Uh, would be a good vehicle to do this. You know what? I haven't used the Dan in a while, but... You know what? Yeah, let's do this. So the Dan literally did not come out of my 
my garage in the last phase. So he's one of my trucks that had still had free fuel, so this is actually free fuel in his Actually hold up, I need to Cola gave you PTSD. Nice. Where am I at here in the time? We'll go a tad bit longer. So. We're going to use this little shortcut. Man, I wish I had the, uh, the active suspension for this, but it's okay. We will make do. The logging missions in, in Cola? Oh man, I remember those. I remember those. You know what I think is even worse? I think the logging missions in Yukon are worse. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because I, I can kind of explain this. Check this out. I talked about this on a lot of other streams, actually. Um, but I talked about the, the shortcut up to the sawmill. Because people think that this this way is, is, is good. People think that this way is, is great. But there's so many times people spill logs out here. It's just a, a terrible way. Like, But there's a nice little shortcut that runs right up through these trees. Very easy to get through. But I think the hardest part of, of Yukon is bringing logs down from here all the way through to like these spots here, in here, up in here. And then also what's really tough is there's a logging mission that you have to bring, I think, logs up here as well. But this spot right here, I will show you. I can find the actual spot. It's right here. You have to bring a set of long logs to this location right here. Okay. Now, looking at this, you're like, okay, how am I going to tackle this? So you take your long logs and you're like, okay, I'll just go up this path and this way. But however, this is like severely down sloping. Okay. So, and the thing is, this rock cuts you off almost from coming up this way and swinging it. Because what happens is when you try to swing it, your back wheels of your trailer get caught. So you're like, okay, I'll go this way. Well, when you go this way, most of the time you just tip over. And last time I did this, I actually avoided this whole thing on hard mode. Mind you, I went up this way and tried to dive down through these trees. I ended up spilling all my cargo on this, on this, uh, slope right here. I picked it up, recovered it and, and made it there. But just some of the places that you have to deliver cargo in Yukon. And there's a lot too. But I don't want that to discourage you, though. Shoot. Want to buy active suspension? There we go. I did a lot of sideboard bed, um, craning everything into a sideboard bed. Oh man, I took, I took, in one, in one trip I took six long logs, and then I took, on top of those six long logs in a five slot, I put 12 medium logs, singles, okay? Because medium logs are half the size of long logs, so you can fit you can fit those perfectly. But you have to be super precise. I fit those all in there and I delivered went to each location and pulled those logs out. And that was tough, man. That was tough. Okay, I need to actually get myself uphill farther. Yeah, no worries, man. I wouldn't be worried about it though. I think you'll have you have a good enough equipment to do it. This this way seems tough right now because I'm pulling things, but 
You went through the mud and the ice to the left of the garage? Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it is tough using the log crane. Oh, Herocinator, I know what you're talking about, yeah. One to the left of the garage. So you go you went like this. So you just went out here and then up. Basically. That's that's a good one too. I think this one is so tough right now just because I'm uh I'm pulling this dead weight. Cause I usually fly through here. Yeah, it is. That way is easy. If you can avoid those boulders coming up out of that lake or the frozen lake bed, yeah, that way is so nice. I just think I'm bottoming out too much here. What time is it in my uh, in my zone? It is 9.30, 9.23 right now. 9.23. Actually, you know what, hold up. I'm gonna actually turn myself this way. I'm just gonna stop here. All right. Let's go. I need... Here's what I need. Bridge. I need four of these two metal beams. Okay. You know what? I'll go like this. The, the Dan with the OHD or the OH or I don't think the Dan can use OHDs. Dan can use OHS. I do prefer OHS to the MHS. Yes. The Dan can't use the heavy doubles though. That's the that's the thing. I need I need to grab this. Yeah, I think this vehicle, same thing. I'll use the OHS over the MHS. Over the MHS-1, let's be clear. Um, now, if it's an MHS-2 uh, over the the OHS, I'm going to use the MH MHS-2. So, uh, in testing, they're actually better in mud. So the thing is, the good thing about the OA the OHS, they slice they slice through the terrain and hit the the under under parts of the terrain. So I need two. I need four of these. Oh shoot. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to do something here. It's easier for me to carry these on my on my hood. But yeah, you can you can either see like so on my mud running tips video, it kind of goes through that a little bit. Um, it all it is there's actually been people have done studies on, on on the tires and stuff, so you can see those studies. But essentially, the mud running tips video encompasses what they're saying and what their findings are. 
there's even videos out there of people showing like the OHD tire versus like the you know I think M MHS2 and such like that. But okay, let's see how I can do this. Make this work. What I'm gonna do? I'll go spare part and then I'll put both these on my on my top of my tab, I guess. But yeah, the OHS are, are they're a really good tire. The only pro I think the only issue with, with them is is whenever you just have too much weight. Too much weight and the vehicle doesn't have enough um, ground clearance. And case in point is this vehicle right here, actually. So like the Azov it weighs a ton, right? So there's not a lot of like room to give because if you if you have too much weight on your tires, okay, and they're not they're not wide enough to be able to like keep you buoyant or not like to be able to just sink down, you're you're gonna you're gonna ground out. Which yeah. It happens a lot for this vehicle. Let's do this. I'm gonna try to lay this down. Maybe, I don't know. And do like a do like a pin. Or I can do this. There we go, that might work. Actually, no, hold on a second. Okay, let's try this, dude. There we go. I want to be able to, like, Watch this. Okay, there we go. I want to be able to, like, keep, like, pressure down on that in the metal beam. This is where having a six-slot trailer right now would be amazing. Go bust some more tires, shall we? Oh, it's so annoying. Okay. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, as long as it stays on, fine. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Essentially, like, if you want a picture of how this playthrough is probably going to go, this is pretty much a good representation. Yo, someone, the crazy thing is, like, so I, here's something really interesting is kind of funny, too, is, um, oh, wait, one second, my wife is calling me. Let me call it, let me, uh, be right back in one second after I pick up that piece of cargo. Okay. Pick this up. It's back on. Turn 
something else. We're gonna do something different here. Come and get it. That might work. Just a little bit of down pressure on that. This is gonna make it so wobbly though. It's kinda nervous. <laughs> kinda nervous right now. pretty well, all things considered. Oh my goodness, look at this thing li listing. Oh goodness. Okay. Let's go repair. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to take my own. Whatever. This reminds me of situations where gypsies were in Slovakia are moving couches. All the stuff on their old cars. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. You know where this is going to be super interesting? Is coming down this hill on that snowy path. Where it's just... The whole part is un uneven. The whole part is uneven. It's a good picture. Hold on a second. We gotta get this. There we go. Cool. All right, let's get there. Oh, but anyways, like I was saying before, um, before my wife called, someone mentioned that I should call my, I think they said either, either I should call my channel or the playthrough, call it like, call it um, the joy of SnowRunner, <laughs> because I guess people essentially fall asleep watching my movies and or watching my videos and such. And I thought that was hilarious. I was like, oh my goodness. So, I might be tagging that sometime, or, or just making jokes about that or something. I think that's kind of, it's kind of like putting me on blast a little bit, but it's, I don't know, it's rather funny, to be quite honest. What am I planning on to stream next episode of each, each hardcore mode in Alaska? Wait, what do you mean by that? Oh, you mean of the, uh, the, the randomizer? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it might be the next stream. I might go every 
I might like alternate both of these playthroughs. So perhaps the randomizer might be next. Just to kind of switch it up every day, I guess. While I have time. Possibly. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow because a lot of a lot of playoff games are on tomorrow with like football and stuff. So I don't know. And I might be actually might be going to see a movie tomorrow. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I got going on. Tomorrow is is a very is a is like a, a day where you go to church, you go grocery shopping, laundry, Football. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Appreciate that, man. I'll try to. And here's the part that's going to be really hard, by the way. Okay, so... Gosh, man, this thing is a beast. Man, for anyone who says the the Azov is tippy, like, please. Please watch that. <laughs> Thank you. That thing... I mean, I did try to pick some good routing there, but... Okay, there is bridge number two. Actually, wait. Yes, that's bridge number two. Nice, great. Now we have access to the island. Here's your pay. Cool, thank you, sir. How am I doing that? What do you mean? Okay, we'll go like this. The balancing act? <laughs> oh, so essentially, you mean like with the cargo or you mean just like driving? Both. Oh, so with this, with I use the crane to try to like pin down the cargo on top of my roof, right? And then because this crane is not right now, it's at like the perfect position, right? Because I have the crane has down pressure to keep this on here, even without having the um, the actual winch attached. Let me turn this engine off. Actually, got to save some fuel. And then the next piece of cargo I actually had attached, but um, I was trying to have some down pressure on the top of that but still keeping it attached because if I keep the winch attached and I have down pressure, I'm still creating two, two things of force pushing down on those metal beams to keep everything in place. Now the balancing act, that's just essentially knowing your vehicle. That's just like, I, I played this, this truck I've played the most out of any vehicle in the game. Um, I, I'm not really proud of saying that to be honest, but in my first playthrough, I played this truck a lot. But the thing is, like, you just gotta pick. Like, there was a there was a spot back there where you saw me turn down um, into the into the ravine, kind of, or into that little rut. So the thing is, like, I knew there that I didn't have any any angles from my trailer and my truck to help me not tip over there. So what happened was, it was either if I kept going straight, I was going to tip over because both of them. I had no angle to keep to aid balance in either my bed or my truck, so I decided to turn down in. So that that's essentially what I did. But yeah, you can. That's the thing, just like feeling trucks out like that with uneven terrain. Oops, what, what's going on? There go. Okay, cool. All right. 
we have our third bridge. Actually, this is the fourth bridge. This is this is bridge number four. Hope oh, this is the last time we fixed the bridges. Thanks for your help. Sweet. All right, y'all. Well, there's four bridges complete. We essentially have our way free to go do bottoms up to get the fuel done. So essentially, that is where I'm going to leave you guys. I didn't want to stream too long tonight, um, but I hope I got enough done that this was actually uh, pretty, pretty good to watch and informational as well. Two weeks ago, you played a mission in a Dawn region after delivered the industrial boiler, Tatra factory, both delivered it with a Dan, the big crane in a similar fashion. Had the boiler tucked in all nice. Clutch, man. I've done something like that with the uh, the airplane parts, actually. The airplane fusel fuselage. So, anyways, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. It's been great hanging out with y'all here on a Saturday night. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Um, rest of your night, day, morning, wherever you're at in the world. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to. So, anyways, guys. Have a wonderful day, night, morning, wherever you're at in the world. God bless, and as always, stay upright.